My name is Thekla Brogan and you're watching another TIBA News Update. During the first week of May 2015, the Top End Aboriginal Bush Broadcasting Association, TIBA, hosted a remote Indigenous Archives Preservation and Digitisation Workshop to train participants in remote Indigenous organisations how to correctly digitise and catalogue films, audio and images. TIBA has been chosen to kickstart these workshops, which is being held over five days at TIBA's main office. If you do need anything or that, just, just let us know and we'll try and sort it all out as quickly as possible and so it can smooth on. But um, again, what is a here, please relax and uh, enjoy this course. We're really looking forward to it. The workshop has been organised by the National Film and Sound Archive of Australia and the Indigenous Remote Communications Association and funded by the Australian National Commission for UNESCO. Oh, good day. I'm Mick Newnham and I am the Manager of Conservation and Research at the National Film and Sound Archive of Australia. The National Film and Sound Archive is what's called an autonomous body that was set up by the Commonwealth Government. Its brief is to collect uh, non-government audio-visual production, that's moving image, film, video, broadcast television and recorded sound, which is things like radio, uh, popular music, classical music, soundscapes, uh, all, sorts of, all sorts of things, and also things like phone videos, which is you know, quite a wide gamut of, of collecting items. And we collect, we preserve, and we provide access into the future as well. Susan Locke from IRCA is happy to be the project manager for these workshops and believes we should all be archiving our history now before it's all lost. Uh, lots of the remote Indigenous organisations have um, organise, uh, collections that stretch back maybe about 30, 35 years and lots of those are on magnetic media which is deteriorating. So the purpose of this workshop is to help people understand what can I do with those collections, um, how should they be digitised, how should they be catalogued so that people know what's in them, but also a lot of the cultural management of those because a lot of the content is really sensitive or sacred, uh, there's deceased content, there's a range of things. So it's having a look at all of the aspects of managing those collections and making sure that they live into the future generations. During the workshop, participants learnt about all things archiving and had the opportunity to have a go digitising images and films. And it looks just like a normal VHS, so and it has a flip down lid, so then you play it straight in your... We currently have a research program which is digitising and cataloguing and making accessible to the community uh, the audiovisual archives in Wadev previously known as Port Keats in the Northern Territory. So this research project also looks at how to preserve and look after the collection there, how to digitise it, how to make it accessible to the community. So uh, this is the course that we're doing now on audiovisual archiving, preservation, has been extremely helpful. Um, I've also been able to share my skills and knowledge that we've learned in Water and on the Water project with the participants here and also looking at how technology can be used in small remote communities, in particular for community access of your, their collections. My name is Jenna Front Hattemary. I come from Palangipi community on Melville Island. Well, I'm doing a project called Digital Archiving in the Art Centre. So it's very important for the community. So how important is this workshop for our mob and for TIBA to contribute? Well again, um, this is so important um, and this can be whether it's in art, uh, painting, craft work, photographs, uh, audio, film, all, all platforms of, of the media, um, you can pretty much um, archive or, or try to, uh, try your best to, if equipment and all of that stuff's available to do. Um, but definitely for language and culture and um, just the preservation of um, their heritage, all of our heritage, like even including Tebas, uh, stuff to be re re recorded, catalogued and there to be pulled up at any given time for a later generation. 
The workshop was a great success and the TIBA staff was thrilled to be involved by hosting this important workshop. The Remote Indigenous Archives Preservation and Digitisation Workshop is also being held at the Central Australian Aboriginal Media Association, CARMA, in Alice Springs and at the Pilbara and Kimberley Aboriginal Media, PACUM, in Western Australia.